This video explains how to iterate through the rows of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next lines of code, we also need to create an example data frame that we can use in the examples later on. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is created, which is called data. And this data frame contains four rows and the two columns x1 and x2. Now, if we want to iterate through the rows of this data frame, we can use the iterrows function, as you can see in the next code box. So in this line of code, I'm specifying my for loop. And then in the second line of code, I'm specifying what should be done in this for loop. So in this case, I want to print the character string index. Then I want to print the index position. Then I want to print the character string x1. Then I want to print the value in the column x1 that corresponds to this iteration. And then I want to do the same for the second column. So after running the lines of code that you can see in the third code box, another output is created and this output contains one line of output for each iteration. So as you can see, for instance, in the first iteration, the output index 0, x1 equals to 1 and x2 equals to a has been returned. We can also use the iterrows function to calculate certain values by the row values in our data frame. So in this case, I want to use the iterrows function to calculate the value of our column x1 times 5. So as you can see after running these lines of code, the values of our column x1 times 5 are returned. We can also use the iterrows function to modify a list object. So for this, we first need to initialize a list as you can see in the next code box. So in this case, I'm creating an empty list that is called my list. And then in the next step, I'm using the iterrows function to iterate over the rows of our data frame. And then within the iterations, I'm modifying our list. So in this case, I want to calculate the value in my list plus the row values that correspond to the iteration times the value 10. So after running these lines of code, our list is updated, as you can see by printing our list once again. And after printing this list, you can see that the values in our data frame column x1 have been multiplied by the value 10. Alternatively to the iterrows function that we have used in the previous examples, we can also use the iterTuples function. So in this example, I'm using the iterTuples function to create exactly the same output as in the very first example of this tutorial. So in this case, I'm once again printing the values that correspond to the different rows in our data frame. However, note that the iterTuples function returns always the last index i at this output. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.